Hey gang, what's up? It's Wes. In this video, we are going to be talking about Rebel 6. It just came out it's as good as ever. Uh, but primarily what we're going to talk about is how it can aid in us making a <gasps> traditional oil painting. So this will be video number one out of a two-part series where we actually make the, the practice painting, as it were, in Rebel 6. Talk about what we learned from the process, what some of our favorite features and uh, favorite parts of the process were in that. And then in part two of this video set, we're actually going to make the oil painting and then talk about how Rebel 6 and, you know, painting with oils and mediums and all that good stuff, how they compare and contrast. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here we are in Rebel 6. It dropped not too long ago. Um, I will say that I was a beta tester for this, and I was given a copy of Rebel 6. Um, but other than that, I mean, I was not like paid in any way for the Rebel 6 stuff. Um, I am a featured Rebel artist for the year of 2022. And I know they're doing an open call for more Rebel featured artists. So if you if you really like Rebel, um, go ahead and give that a shot. I think Escape Motions is doing their open call right now. And I highly recommend it. It's an amazing company to work with. Um, it's really cool to get your art out there. You can make tutorial videos and stuff. But this one was not compensated. They have no idea I'm even making this video. Um, and this is actually going to be a two-step video and I wanted to play to Rebel's strengths, which is its ability to capture working traditionally with traditional tools. And there's quite a few art programs. Um, I say quite a few, there, there's like three big ones, in my opinion. Uh, there's Rebel, there's Art Rage, and then there's Corel Painter. But um, this one's just about Rebel. In my opinion, I think Rebel has the best kind of middle ground you don't need a doctorate like you do for Corel Painter. That thing is a beast. Um, I, I've kind of tamed it lately, but that thing just takes so much, you know, engineering just to get it kind of the, to work the way you want. Um, and then Art Rage works beautifully. I actually put it very close with Rebel. It's just Rebel has a little bit more nuance with how you can control some of the brush settings and especially some of the uh, the smudge tools and stuff like that. It just has a little bit of a boost, but they're both incredible programs. Um, I could have easily made my other thing in Art Rage as well. Um, but I wanted to use Rebel. wanted to really put Rebel 6 through its paces. I hadn't really used it since beta testing it. Uh, but yeah, man, it's Rebel. It's freaking good. Um, I really enjoy using the program. My favorite features, and this still remains true, my favorite feature is the fact that you have different blending modes for all of your brushes. You can use it just as a pure opaque brush. Uh, you can use it as kind of a paint and mix brush. You can use it as a paint and blend brush, which is really my, my go-to is paint and blend. I really like how that looks because it reminds me of having an oil brush with liquid on it or, or some sort of medium uh, to kind of make it flow a little bit, right? Because then colors start kind of going into one another and things like that. It's a lot of fun. But um, really, I just wanted to show off this process. I think I am going to do um, a more dedicated video to showing more detailed look at one of my new favorite things that Rebel 6 has. And it's basically, um, you can do reference images. You could have done reference images in like Rebel 4 or Rebel 3 even. Uh, Rebel 3, 4, 5, and now 6. But now they've added some measuring tools so if you've ever used a proportional ruler, it's like a little, oh, it looks like a little drafting tool. Um, and what it is, is it's something that you can measure, like let's say you're doing a still life or you're doing a portrait study and the person's right in front of you. You can actually use a proportional divider or proportional measure, measure their face, lock in the proportion, and then you can transfer it over to a traditional canvas. And, the, you know, it works in Rebel 6 very similar. You can bring in a reference image, then you can make some guiding lines and things. And then what it does is it does the math for you and applies those lines transparently, um, meaning it's not part of the canvas, but like it's guides that you can eyeball and see, rulers basically, 
on the canvas itself, no matter what your canvas size is. Really cool. You can modify what that ratio is, like how big is it, um, are, are those marks comparative to the canvas and comparative to the reference. Really amazing stuff. Like one of the coolest things I think I've seen out of any digital art program. Um, and I feel bad because I did not use that at all for this. <laughs> I didn't use it one bit. I wanted to trust my judgment in making a, a set of references, like pulling references. All of them came from Pexels.com and free to use and stuff. But I wanted to make something from imagination also using the references as a design prompt. Like, my main goal was to make a knight that looks all handsome and stoic and all that stuff. But something that I can really kind of play around with with oil paint. And I'm probably going to use a Zorn palette, um, which is, you know, a, a ivory black, titanium white, yellow ochre, and then like a cadmium red light or cadmium red medium, depending on if you want it a little lighter or a little darker. Um... So really what I wanted to do in Rebel is just work out the kinks, work out the kinks of the design. What do I actually want to paint in my oil painting? And as you can see, I just kind of sketched some stuff out. I used the, you know, basic graphite. I think it's the 2B pencil that I used. It's been about a week or so since I recorded this. So I'm just going off memory right now. And uh, used the 2B pencil, then kind of went with some harsher lines to kind of refine those shapes a little bit. And then I just painted in values. I'm really liking this more and more of just painting in black and white to get the nice brushwork, to get those good brush strokes in there, to get the nice uh, kind of smudges and, you know, those happy accidents. And then glaze color on top of it. Now, I'm probably going to work in kind of a similar method on the oil painting side, which is I'm going to put down... A, a tone wash. I'm going to use like a burnt umber or, you know, raw sienna or something like a darker brownish color. And I'm going to put that in probably actually in acrylics. Um, acrylics dry super fast and it will allow me to get my kind of to tone the canvas, get rid of that blank uh, canvas syndrome, you know, because white canvases can be scary, kind of the same as like an empty sketchbook. You don't want to mess it up. But if you put a wash of color down, and then you could just kind of work your, your lights and your darks a little bit there and try to just kind of map out where you're going to put stuff. That fear goes away pretty quick because now you're in it. You know, you got stuff on there and you're not going to have just a acrylic washed canvas. Like you're going to do something with it, you know. So that's kind of the approach that I took here. This was, this was less of a one-to-one, -one, I'm going to replicate every single brush stroke that I do in Rebel over on the oil painting. This was more of a, I'm going to use Rebel because it gives me that nice feel of oil paint with medium in it, which is what I'm going to be using. So like, let me have fun and experiment here the same way I'm going to have fun and experiment on the painting. But I, I really like how the design turned out. I think it captures the mood okay. I think I'm going to take a little more time with some of the nuanced stuff on the oil painting. But for a quick, I want to say I did this in a little under two hours for the whole thing. Uh, from a blank canvas not having, not having any idea what I want. To something that I'm relatively comfortable saying like, yeah, this could make a cool oil painting. I think this will be a nice one. Um, Yeah, a lot of fun. And I really, yeah, I really love those oils um, in Rebel. That's my favorite kind of go-to thing. I know they uh, mix and match the oils and the acrylics. So you have your flats, your, your, your rounds, your filberts. And the way they interact with each other is great, especially when you mix up those blending modes. And yeah, those blending modes are the star of the show. I think that is by far my favorite thing that Rebel does. The way the brushes interact with each other, it's no fuss. It just, it does what I want it to I don't have to go and start tweaking a billion settings. The only thing I would really tweak at all with some of these brushes is the brush tip. I would just import a, a, a transparent PNG file, maybe of my own filbert brushes or whatever. And there you go, you know, like, but the, the engine, the, all the math behind it is genius. It just works incredibly well. And 
just a lot of fun. It's a joy because it, it it's not as exacting as a Photoshop or a Clip Studio or something to where, or even like a Krita, um, to where it's pixel perfect. It's going to put exactly where you put it. Now, that type of control is good. Don't get me wrong. And I love that type of control like on client work. But when it's on my work and I, I just want to start experimenting, I like the more freeform brushes, um, kind of the watercolor smudges and the, you know, the, the like dripping paint type of effect that you can get from this. Very, very cool. Um, but you'll notice, um, you know, at the beginning I showed a few of the settings to where I turn the canvas, uh, the impasto and the gloss pretty much all the way down but I kept the paint and the uh, canvas textures up because I like the look of the canvas. I just don't want the artificial glossiness of it. Um, I think we're gonna have plenty of that with a real painting. So I just wanted to get some good blends with the brushes here. But overall, I mean, it's it's always a joy to use Rebel. It really is. That's why I was so interested in like working with the team is because it was already great. And I think with Rebel 6, it got even better. Um, I, I do know that it uses less system resources. I know Rebel 5 was kind of a bear. It could kind of be a system hog. Um, meaning your computer has to be not super mega computer, but like pretty good in order for it to not start really taking a long time to load and stuff, especially when you get into the watercolors. Those just are very intense anyway on computers. So because you're simulating millions of little water points and stuff, so it's crazy. Um, it, you know, those are still going to be heavy hitters as far as performance, but I will say I've had more luck, um, quickly with Rebel 6 and I think they're refining their process quite a bit over at Escape Motions and you can tell just the brushes are snappier. I know that's not a great expression for it because it's like, what does that mean? But they just, they work more quickly. I see the result faster. Um, painting over it and mixing paints and tones and all that stuff just gives a little bit more vibrant of a look. So I wonder if they went in and tweaked some of that math. But um, yeah, just overall a joy to paint. I feel confident going into the oil painting. Who knows though, like that's famous last words, is like, I know what I'm doing. And then you go and you start an oil painting and you really don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I feel more comfortable, I feel more comfortable taking this idea of what this painting is and then applying it and using some of the lessons learned like the shapes the shape of the hair the shape of the face and like the angle of the face it was really good that i was able to work with rebel and get it done here because it's going to help me fine tune it in in the uh, oil paint so yeah that's really it i just want to show off some rebel i know i haven't made a rebel video in a while and with a new version i wanted to show it off um, but yeah, it's cool. If you look in the credits, uh, my name is right there in the credits and uh, It's a lot of fun and my name's in the credits with a lot of incredible artists like George Ireland um, There's so many I can't even remember um, but like uh, the, I mean one of the big ones is Craig Mullins. I'm always blown away when I'm part of the same project that Craig Mullins is <laughs> It feels like I'm one step closer to painting royalty um, But you know we're just doing our thing and we're gonna figure it out but expect more rebel videos soon i do want to show off that um that, that uh, kind of the proportional ruler and proportional marker on a reference image thing i think that is a game changer if you're learning if you're wanting to do studies and still lifes and portraits and stuff and you want to test your eye to see how well you do or you want to use some aids like a grid and a graph but not trace i know some people feel real weird about tracing they feel like it's cheating or not correct or whatever um this is a great way to still have to make very big decisions but give you a little bit of of uh, grace period as it were so we'll take a look at that soon um i got some other videos on the plate as well for some other painting programs so yeah 2023 is about to be crazy we're about to pop off with some of these painting videos but hope you like the painting uh yeah for two hours this was not bad i could have painted here for another 20 hours and really made something that had that nice kind of pre-raphaelite you know uh even if i want to go like a caravaggio or a but you, there's so many things you can do there's so many different types of influences you can bring to the table 
So that's what it's about. Just finding a mix that you like and making it happen. And with Rebel, you can do that. But that's my time. Let me know what you think about the new Rebel in the comments. Or have you upgraded? Let me know. I still use Rebel 5 as well. Um, Rebel 6 is winning me over faster and faster. Just because it works a little snappier. It loads up faster. Um, that type of thing. So... I mean, Rebel 5 still a fantastic program. If you got it when it was on sale for 20 bucks and you don't feel like upgrading yet, you don't need to upgrade. I'll tell you that right now. But just know Rebel 6, they are refining what made Rebel 4 and 5 so freaking good. And yeah, it's just a joy to use. But the next part of this video is going to be the oil painting in another narration. And you can see me freak out and, you know, have a weird artistic crisis. Um because I know I'm painting an oil painting in front of people. <laughs> Which is not, you know, <laughs> it's not a wise move. <laughs> the, the stress is a lot higher. Anyway, uh, that's my time. I will talk to you guys soon. Until next time, go paint and go make some cool art. We'll see you soon.